In this training video, we're going to look at creating a stencil to add shapes from, from other stencils. So what you can do, you can create a custom stencil, which you can then use popular shapes from different stencils and bring them into one stencil, such as, which is what we'll do here. So we're going to go to more shapes, new stencil. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Diagram Shapes. So I can right click in, in line with a new stencil, save as. Now I'm going to save it to the desktop in this example. I'm just going to call it Diagram Shapes. Here's the name of it. And now we can add shapes from other diagram stencils. There's basic shapes here. Same as I regularly use, say, the first four plus, I might say, can, maybe diamond. Here we go. First four, can, diamond, and cube. So with the control, I click on the first shape, hold my control key down, click on the square, ellipse, click OK to that, and circle. Now come down to can and diamond. Now what I can do, I can right click on these selected shapes. Copy, go to my new stencil, and paste. So there are the six that I selected. When you do things to new stencils, there's a save icon, so I'm going to save it. So now I wanted some arrows to come with this. So there's arrows on the arrow shape stencil. And then you can start closing down some stencils you use regular, regularly and just use the merged shapes on one stencil to, to, to keep them all together in one place. So there's six I use, we might use regularly. We can see the arrow shapes. I want to say simple arrow. I'm going to come down a bit. So control key. Striped arrow, notched arrow. I'm going to right click, copy, go to the diagram shapes, right click, paste. Right, so these are the shapes that I want from, I'm going to save. So I'm going to pretend that I want to use them regularly from those two stencils, but I want to create my own stencil so I know these are my regular shapes I use. If you wanted to, you can also color them differently because at the moment, if I Use the stem, use the shapes from the stencil that I've just created and drag it. They come out like a standard blue, which is, comes with Visio itself. Now we can color these. So, for example, I can, with the asterisk on, this means the stencil can be edited. So, if I right click in line with that, so you're able to edit with, with the asterisk on. If I take the asterisk off, and try and do something I can't edit what's called the master because the edits off I want to edit the master to change the color so the asterisk has to be on to do this right and I'm going to change a couple of shapes in color and then show you what can be done so you can cut them all in color so I can click on the rectangle right click edit master master shape I'm going to click on the shape and then go for a different color. So I'm going to use this color. Close it down. Update yes. So every time you do something, you've got to update it. I'm going to press the save again. Same with the square. So it won't, it won't take long. I'll do all of these shapes. So right click Edit Master. The Edit Master shape. Click on the shape. Fill. Same color again. There we go. What I'm doing here, I'm standardizing the colors that I like. So, and I'll always update. 
and I'll do two more. So I want to hold them, I'll just do two more, we will get the idea. And it's master shape. Fell. Color I've been using, which is this one. Close, update, yes. There's the color again. Save. One more. Edit. Edit master shape. So, same color again. Close, update. And if I just test them, so we can now see that the colors have changed. We can see the colors change. So the rectangle is now the new color. And if I put the diamond on, that's still the original blue because I haven't updated it yet. As you can see, the arrows still blue. So if I connect the arrow to the rectangle we can see it's different colors but what you can do you can color all the different shapes you like to the color you like I picked this grayish color dark green color in this in this example and then you can pull them to the diagram page now some colors don't automatically update so there are some colors which these shapes do not um, color very well but the color I've chosen does. There are other colors which are fine to update the color in, but they don't, don't all update themselves. So you've got to pick the colors which, which work with these updates. But there's an example now of a, of a stencil where certain shapes have been copied from other stencils, put into the one stencil, and we can now color them and use them as required. But this now completes the training video on creating a custom stencil naming it, adding shapes from other stencils, and it's almost like creating your own favorite shapes. That's what we've done here. And then you can add them and color, color them as required for the colors that work with this kind of way of working and customizing stencils and editing different shapes. But this completes the training video on a new custom stencil for shapes with shapes added from other stencils and where the shapes have been updated in color in this example. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial.